Good morning, everyone. Thanks a lot for the invitation. My name is Chen Dong. Chen is my first name, meaning daybreak. I work at Fuzhou University in China. I'm very glad to be here to present our work. The paper title is A Survey of DMFB's Security, State of the Art, Attack and Defense. In this paper, we make a survey on DMFB's security in the research community. This page shows the authors who helped me to finish this paper. They are beautiful, handsome, smart young guys. We worked hard together for a long time. Thank you all for your efforts. And then let's see the contents of my presentation. It can be divided into six parts. The first section is the introduction of DMFBs. The second section is security of DMFBs. The third section is the attacks DMFB faced. The first is the defense technology. And then we make a comparison of attacks and existing defense methods. The last is the future work. First, I would like to explain what is a biochip. Biochips can process the bioassays and can operate droplet or liquid to realize automatic operation of reagent. One or more standard laboratory functions are integrated into a thin, single biochip. Therefore, it's called lab on a chip. According to the operation principles, biochips can be classified into two main types. Digital microfluidic biochips, DMFBs in short, and continuous flow microfluidic micro, uh, biochips, CFMBs in short. These two plant forms have different structure and different operation principles. DMFBs perform bioassays by controlling discreted reagent droplets to perform operations such as dispensing, mixing, and splitting, while CMFBs perform by controlling the flu fly. In this paper, we mainly focus on DMFBs. Please look at the figure one. It shows the structure of a DMFB. DFMB consists of two separate plates. Droplets move between the plates. Controlling electrodes are distributed on the top and bottom plate based on the electro-writing on the electro principle. Droplet movement can be controlled by controlling whether the electro is energized or not. According to this principle, even operations such as dispensing, mixing, and splitting can be realized. Generally, there are two kinds of design and manufacture flow. Please look at figure two and three. One is a customer DFMB flow and the other is a general purpose flow. The main difference is the customer DMFBs can run only a single bioassay or several specific bioassays. Well, the general purpose DMFBs can run any bioassay. Due to the general structure and mass production, the cost of general purpose DMFB will be cheaper than customer one. Just like ASIC and FPGA, it can be predicted. The general purpose DMFB must be the future trends.
There were some outstanding advantages of the MFBs, such as automatic processing, small scale, low reagent consumption, high analysis speed, flexibility of inspection site, and it can be used into numerous fields. Illuma is a leading DNA sequencing company. It has announced the use of DMB in their new Prepro NGS Laboratory Prepro product. USDA has developed the baby's seeker DMB platform to track newborn babies for disease. We can see DMB will have a booming market. The market for bioassay platforms is booming and is gained attention from academic and industry. As a part of cyber physical systems like integrated circuits, DMB also faced a variety of potential threats. Recent research shows that actors can profit from intellectual property piracy. As the manufacturing processing of the DMB becomes more and more complex, in real manufacturing, the processing inclined to a division of labor to get a high profit. Therefore, so many third parties are involved in the design and manufacture, which has brought great security risks and even enabled actors to invade the MFBs from different stages in different ways. In addition, by all assay, ex execution involves software and hardware. This means that the security approaches need to consider both. Obviously, it is very urgent to study the security of the MFB. With analyzing the potential security risks in accordance with the biochip design and manufacturing flow, we separate the design and manufacturing flow into five stages. The five stages are barcoder stage, CAD2 vendor stage, designer stage, foundry and tester stage, and end user stage. By analyzing recent work. The attacked modes are summarized in this paper, and the possible stages of the attack are analyzed. This figure shows the statistical results of the attack. Potential attacks can be classified as DOS means deny of service, implant of children, design thief, reading forgery, information leakage, modification of function. Modification of function includes altering and concentration of sample, modification in physical dimension, and droplet routing. As the diagram shows, there are potential attacks in each stage. With the rapid development of biochips, more and more security issues have been exposed. There are many defense methods corresponding to the security issues, such as IP privacy protection, Trojan detection. There are the variety of defense technologies of DMFBs. We summarize the existing literature about biochip defense in the figure shows. Nowadays, biochip defense technologies can be divided into three categories, respectively, bioprotocol, IP protection, Trojan detection, and other types. Bio Particle epic protection includes 
encryption based on microfluidic multiplexer, blocking of biochemical acids, bioprotocol watermarking, and a prehensive security system. Children detection includes microfluidic encryption strategy and randomized checking pointing. Other types include automatic location and correction of error. In this table, we make a statistic form of existing work between possible attacks and existing defense methods on DMFBs for a clear comparison. Where take means there's an attack report. Circle means there is an existing defense technology report. At biocoder stage, there may be two kinds of attack. However, only design shift and altering concentration of sample have corresponding defense measures. At CAD2 vendor stage, there are five kinds of attack. Only design shift have existing methods to deal with, while the rest have no corresponding defense measures. At designer stage, seven kinds of attack can be carried out. The attack of DOS, design shift, and implant of charge have exist methods to deal with, while the rest of the attacks have no corresponding defense measures. At foundry and text stage, there are four kinds of attacks. Design shift, altering the concentration of sample and modification of droplet routing have exist defensive measures at this stage, while the rest of the risk have not. At end user stage, seven kinds of attacks involved in addition to modification in physical dimension, the rest risk have corresponding countermeasures. Usually, the protection measures performed at the large stage are the most effective way to protect. We discuss the future work. In each stage of the design and manufacturing flow, some untrusted third parties can be introduced into the stages. Then, potential security risk can exist. From this paper, we summarize the current situation of potential attacks. Firstly, a variety of attacks can pose a threat to DMBs in both software and hardware. Secondly, almost all stages are vulnerable to the Trojan attack, which is a major attack method. Thirdly, the attack mode in each stage are not the identical. Next, let's take a look at the future direction of the defense method. First, single defense technique is no longer suitable to the development of the MBs. Second, hardware charging is a thorny issue that the MBs face, and the corresponding direction technologies must to be strengthened. Third, at present, some stages are not threatened by attacks. Some stages have already been attacked and there is no defense method. This situation means 
there are still many topics for future study. Let's make a conclusion. In this paper, we present a review of the security challenges and countermeasures on DMFB, potential attacks during each stage of the design and manufacture flow are concluded. The methods proposed to improve DMFB's security are list. Last, comparison of the existing work is provided in table. Predictably, more researchers will devote themselves into DMFB's security in the future. We wish this paper provides a basics and well as guidelines for future research. My presentation is stopped here. Thank you all for your listening. These are authors' email. Welcome to discuss with us and comment our work. Thank you so much.